Aye, aye. Aye, aye, everyone. Neil Razor Ruddock. Keep supporting Andy and Jace on the West Ham Reunited channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the West Ham Reunited channel. Keep supporting Andy and Jace. Aye, aye. We are massive. How many you irons? Subscribe. West Ham Reunited channel. Aye, aye. And we're live, and we're back again. Uh, Jazz, how are you doing, sir? I'm never away. I've been sitting here since the last one. <laughs> no, I'm all right, mate. Yeah, not too bad. Got a game tomorrow, so we're all excited, really. And we've got Marshy, good old Marshy with us as well. So, yeah. Yeah, Marshy's frozen. <laughs> it looks, looks like he's got a phone call. He's got a phone call. He'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah, yeah, let's, rem yeah. let's, rem let's remove him for a second before I can see him moving again. <laughs> uh, we've got we've got Mr. Cox in the building. Uh, how are you, sir? Hope you're good. We've got Grant in the building. Jazz, John's going to tell us off again. John's going to tell us off. <laughs> like to thank our channel sponsor, Glazewise, Windows, Doors and Conserve. Do you know where John is at the minute, Jazz? Do you know where he is? No, no. He's in Zagreb. He's in Zagreb at the minute. With with oh. with, 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 a, with a with a with a with a family. Um, oh. With a, with a family friend, uh, um, with a family friend. So yeah, he's out there at the minute. He got he went into the restaurant yesterday, and um, people were uh, hmm. people were there. So yeah, no, it's all good. good you back, good. Marshy? Yeah, I'm here, mate. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, that's the thing of live telly. That's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh look, we don't get this normally. Look. Three YouTube legends. No, we don't get that normally, Marcy. I think I think I mean two people and, and you, I think, mate. No, I think they're saying two people and a guest, I think. You know, you How you doing though, Marcy? Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, like I say, you know, well done on the uh, on the subscriber front. You know, like I say, I realise how sort of hard it is and you know, with you boys doing your personal um stuff and your personal lives as well as doing, you know, upkeeping a channel and, you know, reuniting everyone, so to speak, did you say it's um no, it's good. I, I appreciate you asking me. It's nice to be able to, to help you boys out. Yeah, no, definitely, mate. Like I said, it's uh, after a disappointing result. On do you know, do you know, but uh, on the way home, I was a, me. I was in the car with Nick and Ryan. All that it was a bit. I was like, oh, I can't believe it. And I woke up Sunday and I forgot about it. It's, we're doing a great season. Do you know what I mean? Like, at the time, you're a bit yeah. frustrated, and I just woke up and I was just like, you know what? It's one game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, 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 see, I see you there, Mosey, didn't I? I mean, yeah, yeah. I think, like, you know, you, you're sort of like, I think it, as I was trying to say to Nicky, I think it sort of had to, you know, not as such massively the wheels falling off. I think that we were maybe due a result like that and uh, take nothing away from Wolves. They were, you know, they, apart from the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought we played well, but then you've got to, we all know football, you've got to score when you're on top and we didn't. And, you know, we didn't create massive amounts and, um, and from then on, we let Wolves in, we invited them on. And I think the pressure got to us maybe a little bit and the, the bigger names that would have been, you know, our creation, if you like, for want of a better word, didn't really show. So, uh, no, we, we, we were due one of them. Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously, I don't want to remind you, Marshall, we just talked to our fair. Obviously, you would have been, today you would have been flying out, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, this morning. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I know you said about Wolves then. We had... Uh, on the way back, you know, we had the dumb travel curse as always. You know, we had cancelled trains again on the way home and stuff. So uh, we would like I to. Think, I, think, uh, <laughs> I, I think I think you think you've learned, Marsh. I think you should drive up by yourself. Mate. Drive, I, think. Drive up there, mate. Yeah. So, I, I did say to uh, I did mention to Dom. I think the alternative is going to be there. As much as I've enjoyed, you know, not having to drive. Um, you know, fortunately, I think I'm the only one who does sort of drive in our little contingency that does go. Um, more often than not, um, they might have to come back into it. But um, but yeah, no, we should have been in Vienna this morning. We were meant to fly out um, six o'clock this morning. Um, obviously, uh, I think a couple of different things, wasn't it, really, that, that stopped that for us? 
Yeah, no, and I think that's the main thing, though, mate. Is like you said, I know they've gone into lockdown, they've not forwarded the ban, so our next game we, we don't yeah. have to worry. Touchwood, so that's sort that's of nice for UEFA. I was expecting yeah. them to be do do something slimy, be like, no, nah, they're in lockdown, you got you have to, but yeah, I think, like far. you said, that that double effect of them, you know, going into a full country, you know, lockdown, um, it is, is massive for us, and the fact it doesn't hinder our chances in the knockout stages because you know, we're going to get a Quite a, quite a tie there, aren't we, by the sounds of it? So, um, yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye though, Marsh. I mean, I've got my work Christmas party coming up on the 8th, and my manager thinks it's 50 50. He reckons there's going to be government saying a few things next couple of days, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a, he's got a feeling. I said, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's yeah, we'll happens. have to yeah. definitely. I think everyone will be, uh, sort of you know, traveling and stuff, keeping an eye out for it and wanting to listen. I understand people wanting to go, but you know, it's you know, a lot of people have said to me that you know, maybe teams should allocate more tickets and. But then that side of it, as much as I understand that, you know, that side of it's not down to us. You know, we get an allocation initially of of, a, of an amount of tickets. I've just so, um, book, booked our West Ham away tickets, uh, Marzi. Um, Cassie yeah, no, Cole I, before the Norwich game, so hopefully that goes through. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Colton Cole, is it? Yeah, yeah mate. Yeah, I love yeah. I love Colton anyway. That's going to be a, yeah, that's gonna do, be a yeah. laugh. Yeah, that's going to be a laugh. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. We've got James in the building, E20 Zone TV. Uh uh, oh, can't stay long off to get my booster jab. See you Sunday. Oh, oh yeah, I'll see you there Sunday. I'll see you there Sunday. So, Marshy, obviously, um, first of all, we want to talk about, obviously, everyone's seen it. Um, I forgot to mention it to Jazz earlier. What about Deck? I think you should audition for X Factor, shouldn't you, after last night's performance? Blind, blinding stuff. Do you know what I mean? I think it's... Um, and, and, if any, and if anyone at the football club, you know, not to completely encourage it but I think the way that we're going about our business at the moment and you know I think the night beforehand I think um, that you know that the main geezer the governor was talking about Rice coming on and I think he was coming back on the next night and you know what fair play to him he stood up and um, and, and that's what you know the reality of it that's what it needs you know I think that's what that social media that Twitter platform needs is you know a bit of a, a laugh and a joke with banter and although he's a professional footballer and he's going about his business very well I think it's um yeah, listen, it was a laugh for all of us, especially of other clubs obviously logged on watching it, you know, like me and Wall especially, you know, other London clubs and you know, yeah. um like you said, hopefully he can uh, he can instigate some some of the other boys sort of uh, giving it a go. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. So obviously we saw him with uh, the club point on their Twitter, uh, Instagram and stuff like that, um Saeed Said Ben Rama yeah. just laughing at it as yeah. well, singing right that that's just it just proves though, like you said, it's one big family though, isn't it, Marshy? That's the thing, it like is, the yeah. club and yeah, no, definitely. So, Jazz, I'll ask you first, actually, on this. So, obviously, we've seen Deck, we've seen Ben Rama. They were on their way to the coaches. They're on the way to the airport. How many changes do you think Moisey's going to make tomorrow? Going to Moisey, going to Moisey's head. Um, well, in, it's difficult to, to read Moisey's mind. He keeps doing weird things. I mean... We only need one point, I think, and we should be okay. Yeah. If we do, if we don't get that and Dynamo win, then it's uh, well, that's the final game, isn't it? Dynamo's a grab, really, and the winner takes the top spot. I think. Yeah, no, um, definitely. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but I was going to talk about a bit later on and go for a four four two. Really, I was going to do something a bit different. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about. But, but yeah. obviously, not not spoiling it. How many changes do you reckon he's going to make? Six. Mm. Yeah, about five, I think. About five. Oh. But I, I can't read. I don't know, David. You, you know, every Europa game, he's played everyone, more yeah. or less, you know? So, yeah. and look, Alex Crow doesn't even play him. So, I, I don't know what He's got to play either. tomorrow. He's got to play tomorrow. That's two questions for you now, Marshy. I can't tell what David's going to do, Marshy. I don't know about you. I don't know what Moise is up yeah, to. I I, don't, I don't yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I hear you with the crowd thing. I think that's an interesting one. I think when he had the corona, made it a bit easy because obviously he wouldn't be available anyway. But yeah, yeah. Um, coming back into it now, I think obviously he played for the Czech Republic as well, getting some minutes under the belt. Obviously, he needs to the fitness levels. I think need to vastly improve. I know it's Europa, but I mean, if yeah. there's an if if there's an, an opportunity to take that into the league um, when he may be called up, you know, for sort of cup or even league games, it's going to be a uh, but yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I expect to see at least a handful, maybe five or six changes. I mean, obviously, there'll be a few at the back, no doubt. Um, opportunity to rest. Because like Jazz said, you know, if we can win two, I think we need two points from the last two games. 
And if we need, if we if we win tomorrow, I think then obviously it's job done, and we'll get an opportunity to maybe see some of even the, the young kids against Zagreb. You know, like I'm for the last game. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, do, do you think? Do you think? I, I think Moyes plays each game at a time, but do you reckon obviously after the performance at Wolves and obviously City on Sunday? Do you reckon he is thinking about Sunday as well at the same time, or do you reckon he just wants to get this one done and out of the way? Yeah, that, that's a tough question, I think, mate, to be fair. I think he he, he will have one eye on City, because I think, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, that'll all be early in the season, it's a big game. And obviously, you know, we play one twice, and it just so happens after another um, Europa League affair, we, we go up to City, and it's a lot of travelling for him involved. So, I mean, I would like to think, you know, we've got two chances, haven't we, in Europa League, really? So, I mean, you know, with Vienna and Enzo Greb at home, um, mm. hopefully they can come through tomorrow. But, yeah, I, I would definitely have one eye on the City one. We, we don't really want to go there and and sort of roll over completely, if you know what I mean. I mean, you know, we were lucky to get away, you know, Saturday at Wolves with one, I, I thought. Um, so, I'm hoping he'll, you know, he, he might stick a few of the, the senior boys that you might expect to see on the league game. But then away from that, I think... He's, he's surely got to see this one as like a, you know, I, I think it might be not too dissimilar to the, you know, the the, the opening Europa League game, you know, the yeah. Zagreb away game. It might be similar to that, but maybe stick Rice in there and if we can get a job done early, um, early in the game, early in the evening, then get them boys off, you know, by all means and, and then, you know, have them rested because obviously we've got to travel as well. So, you know, and by the time that we travel back from Austria, you know, um, and then getting ready for the city, and then leaving enough time to make that. With yeah, he's, he's a he's got his work cut out, but that's why he's doing really well. He's got to earn his money. So I mean, I've got you know full full faith in him to he'll make the right decisions. He'll look at Vienna as a game that you know is no different to any other, and I don't think he'll disrespect it. But at the same time, I think like you say, he will have one eye on Sunday as well. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Um, a few players. Well, I, I thought he we had. Well, not I'm not going to say he had the. Uh, Bad, bad. Obviously, we've seen worse in the past, Marshy. Craig Dawson got was under a bit of scrut. Um, I still expect him to play tomorrow. Uh, I know we're sort of jumping ahead towards um, Man City. Do you reckon Diop's now ahead of Dawson now? Um, what as in what as in being selected for the league? But, but, yeah, yeah. Um, I would imagine so, and especially Sunday. I think he can maybe build up a bit more of a rapport with uh, with Zuma because obviously, like you see on Saturday, I know it's it's one game, but they'd have led up in training with that. I think the partnership that they had on Saturday wasn't really maybe there's a communication lapse and maybe positional sort of errors and stuff like that. And as good as they both are on their days, and Dawson gives you that vast experience, I think I'd sooner play Dawson tomorrow. Um, and then maybe have Diop ready for, you know, because pace-wise as well, you know, and I thought we were going to be exposed a lot more to pace on Saturday, which in in, in large spells of the game we were, but I think um, it might be an ideal opportunity tomorrow for Dawson and then maybe Diop for the for the bigger stuff, so to speak, on Sunday, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. The thing what surprises me, Jazz, we sort of mentioned it, didn't we, on Sunday when we done that, when we done our show, is... Uh, uh, Creswell's played eight, no, 17 90 minute matches this season already. Yeah. It's mad. He's yeah. got to get a, he's got to get a rest. I know I know it I know it, it's important but especially he needs to be fit and wearing to go for Sunday. I would be very very surprised if he starts tomorrow. What about you? Um again, I don't know what to think of David. I mean every game he's playing full strength. I think I know in the past we we wanted managers to do that, but now the squad is really, really bad. And I'm still going back to the window and thinking, what the hell do we do not to buy? I don't understand this. It's really stupid. Even when looking what team is going to play tomorrow, we don't even have enough players. We can only play a few formations that they fit into. I think if Creswell doesn't play, then you've got to slip Masuaku in there, but then no fan wants to play him in the back four. So that, that's why one of the teams yeah. I was looking at, I had to put Cressy in because we haven't got really anyone else. And yeah, yeah. I don't know about any of the kids either, all the Ashbys and Chesters yeah, yeah, no. and all them lot. I don't yeah, know. So- yeah, no, let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 let's have a look. One second. Uh, uh, four out of the back five will change. Um, Vasic, Crow, and Lanzini need to get 90 minutes. Uh, we need to get right, Gary. You know what? I'm, I'm saying that. That Lanzini was an interesting one. We were talking after the Wolves game, and I actually feel yeah. that I think the others said the same, and I agreed with him when we said I think Lanzini deserves a start in the league, You know, let alone a, let alone the Europa League. Yeah. No, 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 definitely. Uh, 
Creswell must be rested. Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted to say. That Alana. Tom Clark says, uh, Alessi was training with the first team squad earlier. No word on whether he's travelled with the squad Vienna. He's a great talent. He is a great talent. You know what? I was going to, I was going to ask you boys that because I heard that earlier on on Twitter. I read something about that. Does that mean that have I missed something? Is someone not? Is well, there a Dolphin or someone not available? Well, well you, it's, it's a bonner, isn't it? So you you might put someone in there. You might put Alessi. I'm just thinking out there if he wants to save Diop for Sunday. You might put Alessi next to Dawson. Maybe they've been training on it all week. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. That's if, that's it, another opportunity, like I say for. Yeah, you know, and, and maybe more of an opportunity. I mean, it's not going to listen. It's not a disaster if we don't get four points tomorrow. We just need to then, like Jazz said, make sure we go to the London Stadium against Sol Greb and get a result. I mean, we have yeah. to get a result. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. D- definitely. Uh, that's um, so the other talent who we've got is Longello. Is the actual le- left? He, he's a fantastic talent, and he he, he is. Um, when I went to see the under 23s a few times during pre season, he's literally a mould of Creswell. He takes free kicks. He scored like three free kicks, yeah. I think, already this season. He takes corners. And then you're not losing the thing, what's our weapon? Do you know what I mean? They're doing he, quite he, well as well, aren't they, the 23s? I like that uh, Jamal Baptiste as well, the centre half. He seems to yeah. be coming up. Yeah, he celebrated his 18th, 19th birthday the other week. It's mad to think how young these players are. Mm. Uh, Glenn, so, I sort of agree there. We've just had an international break, but. The ninety minutes still add up. Though. I know he's had a couple of weeks rest, but yeah. he's played he's played the most football out of every, anyone in in the side. And uh, like, yeah, like no. Jazz said though, Miles, I think Jazz said it. So now on the edge, you know, if you take Cresswell out of it, out of the equation, he would would he then go to either you know a flat Masuaku left back who can't defend as we know it. He gets found out. He's more of a weak link, so to speak, and they they thrive on that opposition. Does he play the three at the back with the two wing backs? Could maybe Fredericks play there? Would he, yeah. you know, Ben Johnson might be a chance for obviously Kufel to step in and yeah. he's got some uh, options maybe. Yeah. When was the last time we had three good right backs? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? At the club, it's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Yeah, with how, with how well Ben Johnson's playing as well. Shout to yeah. him, like, you know, 21 uh, or whatever he is, you know. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, think I, th- I think that was the worst game I've seen him play that was at Wolves. But like you said, not everyone everyone stepped up, really. But you never yeah. know. We, we've, we, with how well uh, Soufal played against... Um, Man City last year at home, especially, he was outstanding. And even on the away fixture, I maybe could see Soufal stepping in for City personally. So maybe Johnson and Fredericks will play tomorrow. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. I mean, Man City, uh, you've got to remember that we're not going to have the ball and we're going to be sort of running around a lot. So you don't want to really play Rice in this game, I felt, because he's going to have a big game on that day, you know, him and Suchek. And you've got to rest them too, haven't you, for this one, I think. Yeah. I think there could be some there could be some big surprises, you know, tomorrow. Because I think he might have one eye on the fact that we've still got another game to go. And like you said, Marzi, does he want to wrap it up? Does he want to sort of, you know, we're still knowingly that we've got another game to play? I think a lot will rest on that team tomorrow night. I think we'll, uh, you know, hour before we'll get to see it. And then obviously it'll be a debate for Sunday as well. And, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, definitely. Uh, Alana's saying uh, Alessi and Dawson tomorrow, D up, D up Sunday maybe. Yeah, you never know. You never yeah. know. Under twenty three to top of the Premier League. Wow, Premier League two. I, I knew we were up there. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure about top, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. And do footballers want to play? Uh, and Cressy's playing very well. Yeah, I'm just thinking of my my knowledge because that's all we need tomorrow. Is, I'm, I know he can pull up any game, but especially the fact that we've got City, I think he definitely needs to play then. But like you said, it's all about opinions. I'm not saying anyone's right or anyone's wrong. But yeah. Five at the back to Moz. Yeah, couldn't even see that. Five at the back. What I am going to do, gents, is bring this up. Is uh, the, the team what played Rapid Vienna at home. So, obviously, it was Ariola, Johnson, Dawson, Diop, Creswell, Rice, Noble, Yarmolenko, Benrama, Vlasic, Antonio. Do you, reckon, do you reckon that could be sort of what plays tomorrow, Jazz? Um, I, I was going to go for four four two with Kafal, Duke, Dawson, Johnson, um, and perhaps Fredericks, Kral, Lanzini, Masuaku midfield, Yamalenko, Velasic up front. I was going to go for. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I really want to see Velasic do more, and I think you got to, you got to. I don't think him him up front on his own or Yamal up front on their own is going to work. So them two up front together, I think. 
yeah, yeah. Mm. and just to start with that and see how it goes i think yeah yeah who, who do you reckon, Marsha? What do you reckon? Or it's, it's, it's like I don't know. You know I reckon it, again, it's just a tough one, isn't it? I can't really see. I've not had to think. Of, not that he made a mistake playing uh, Antonio, especially the last game at Genk and all, obviously starting him. Um, I wouldn't have thought Antonio would be in there. I mean, I'd, I'd be surprised. He may be on the bench. I'd be surprised. Not. I don't know if he's uh, trapped. I, 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 I wouldn't. I, w- I would have told him to stay at home and rest up personally. But obviously, I'm yeah, I have, yeah. I think we should have enough without that. As I say, it sounds like we're disrespecting them, but I think obviously, you know, we hopefully Moyes will just put it together. It will play a team just capable of getting a result. And if it means, you know, like maybe I think Rice will be in there. I think maybe it will be that sort of midfield there that you see, Rice and Noble. Yarmolenko, obviously, I'll, he couldn't even lace my boots, let alone any of the other sort of <laughs> players. So, um, I, I couldn't have him. Vlasic, I agree with Jazz. I think he needs the time. Um, and at the back, you know, Ariola should speak for itself. Maybe, you know, Dawson and uh, and maybe the young kid or maybe Dawson and, you know... It, yeah, so it's, um, I'm interested to see like you boys are. I think it's, um, you know, it's hard. Uh, yeah. This one. I'd leave Rice because I think he's just come back from illness and, yeah, he was up and down in the Wolves game. And he's obviously, if you're going to get anything in the City game, Rice and Suchek got to be on it. I think, yeah, so, so so obviously Noble and uh, Crow starting at Man United, Jazz, remember? And they were outstanding, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Noble can so, come in. Lanzini can come in. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Uh, Marshy, it's, it's split the fan base with regards to Vlasic. Um, I've sort of defended him, the fact that the games, that, apart from the Man United game, the games he's featured in has been technically with our second team. And I've, I've, I don't think you can really judge him until he starts to feature more with the first team players, the likes of Ben Rama, Antonio, etc. Do, do you reckon that's fair or do you reckon he deserves his criticism, what he's done? Yeah, I'm, uh, again, I'm a bit on the fence, to be fair. I mean, from what I've seen of him, I know he's not getting a fair crack, but I think people do base their opinions on what they see at the time. And, yeah. And uh, and how however long that may be in a game, whether he's instrumental, whether he can influence a game. I'm, to be quite honest with you, I'm not to, I'm not 100% sure on what sort of player that he is. I know he's obviously attacking-wise, but I don't know if he's more on the wing inside. Um, yeah. He just doesn't seem to... Uh, it's, I think it's just unfortunate for him the fact that you know unless God forbid we get any more injuries I can't see the fact he's going to work his way into into the start at 11 sort of Moises set up there but um, I know when he came on at Southampton early in the season he, he had a few good touches and he tried to you know play the ball the way that we were attacking which is obviously refreshing to see but um, yeah I, he, he wouldn't be in there for me I don't think I think he'd be like you said at Man United you know more of a cup player and and feed off of that that sort of team and and maybe get an opportunity to break in if we do sort of require him sort of down the line, really. Yeah, 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 yeah Jazz, sort of thinking about it, I do think Masawaku will definitely feature. Where he will feature, I I don't know. Uh, but could potentially, I've just sort of think it on, on the head. So we could, fi- just for example, Johnson and Masawaku, maybe we could see Fredericks being played as a winger tomorrow. That's what I put down. Yeah, my, yeah. my four in midfield was Fredericks and Masawaku as the wingers with Kafal and Johnson fullbacks. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I think that's fine. He seems um, to like he seems to like Ben Rama in this Europa League, though, doesn't he? He was he was outstanding at Genk. That, that goal was just just ridiculous. Um, I, I would love to see Bowen get a rest. I think he'll be key for us, especially on the counter on on Sunday. But like you said, you can make five subs, can't you? If he gets twenty minutes. He'll 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 get um he'll get uh twenty minutes, but it, it's interesting to see. Like you said, it's just such a, a dilemma of of how you want to play it. But um yeah, it's, it's it is a tough one. I mean, um, the way you, yeah, the way you can look at it is if Ben Rama's looking off the boil, then I would say let's play him in this. I wouldn't say yeah, slightly easier game than the Premiership week in week out to get yourself back in form. So you can do that to bring him back in. He gets a goal. And then for Man City, you know, he's got his chin up again. You can you can think of along those lines as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's a tough call. It's a tough call to make, isn't it, really? But um I've got a stat for you tomorrow, uh, gents. If Soufal does feature, it'll, that'll be his fiftieth European game tomorrow. Oh for, right. for both clubs. So yeah, he's he's been a huge part of obviously his previous club and stuff like that. And it's I, I still think it's mad to think that he's he's like twenty twenty nine years of age. The way he plays, he still acts like yeah. twenty five. Do you know what I mean? He's 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 just an absolute uh, 
uh, Warrior, but I don't yeah. see him featuring tomorrow though. I he's taken. Yeah. He's taken to the. I think he's taken to the club well since he signed. Like we keep saying, you know, we keep expressing the fact that you know five million English pounds worth of player. It's a new and contract it, curse, Marshy. New contract curse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Play out your skin for the contracts and then uh, put yourself in reverse a bit. Yeah. 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 No, definitely. But no, yeah. I'm I'm feeling positive. I'm I'm feeling positive tomorrow. Uh, Let's have a look as well. Another comment. I hope Vlasic and Kraus start. We could do. We've seen them get get a big match in. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's that's Alana. So hopefully, um, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully we're looking for more um, Lady West Ham fans on on the yeah. channel and shows. Yeah. So hopefully, she'll feature in the coming weeks. Though, yeah, yeah. winning tomorrow will get a team a big boost um, to the last sixteen and obviously City. Uh, Gary, sorry, I know you're late to the thing. Uh, we we did we did sort of say that at the start, Gary. But if you want to go back and watch it, but yeah, no, we're saying he does <laughs> he does need a rest. But it's 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 splitting the uh, it's it's splitting the splitting the decision. Uh, let's have a look here. Any time I watch Vlasic International, he's excellent. I think his job for us is still. Uh, I think he's settling. Yeah, no, I agree. Ben Ben Rama didn't start off well, did he? And look what look at the player he's turned in now. And in Moyes, I trust. So he, he obviously that's saw what they were saying in. as well, Moyes. They were saying that at Wolves, obviously, you know, the way that Ben Rama started in comparison to Vlasic, maybe they're looking at it could be a similar thing with Vlasic. You know, I mean, Ben Rama's come on leaps and bounds a lot, I think, and he's a he's instrumental in what we're trying to achieve. I think, especially in this Europa League. Yeah, so no. I think we'll probably see him carry us forward a bit. Um, Marshy, a few people have been questioning. Uh, they think Ariola's not going to sign for us in the summer because he's only featuring um, in the cup cup competitions. Um, what's your take on that? I, I know I think we spoke a couple of times off air. Do you reckon? Do you reckon he knows that he's going to be number one next year? And and he, yeah, he's happy I, to. I think... Oh, yeah, I think you know. I, I think he'll be aware of that. I think he's got maybe utmost respect for Lucas as well. I think knowing that it's his last season, knowing that you know he'll want to play as many games as possible. Obviously, Ariola's number one in the cup and Europa League. Um, let Fabianski have the league, you know. So he, he's he's got an instrumental role as well, Ariola. You know. So I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't want to sign at the end. I mean, obviously, he's not going to get the joy from his um, parent club at PSG, is he? So. Um, it's yeah. going to be a case of, uh, of yeah, I, I would like to think it'd be our number one goalkeeper. I mean, we could do a lot worse next season. So, um, you know, with Fabianski finishing off, he's he's got an ideal one there, really. And then maybe Randolph to follow up with from uh, Areola. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, Jazz, I, I want to keep this short and sweet, really, because I don't. It's, it's not really. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm a rapid Vienna <laughs> fan and seen their last. The last few games, but I'm going to go and jump straight to it, James. What's your score prediction for tomorrow? I think um, I think we'll lose. Yeah, I think we'll yeah. lose two two one. Yeah, that's my prediction. Yeah, I think they're very good at home. Yeah, I've seen their form and everything. Yeah. I wasn't like, expecting that, Jazz. No, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Yeah. But 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 yeah. no. Okay. Everyone else in the chat, put your score predictions in. Marshy, what do you reckon, mate? I think we'll win two 0 I think there should be, you know, I think regardless of the team we put out as well, I think I know that we're good enough, and I know that we've, you know, we've we've made a count of that in the previous game against them at home, haven't we? So I mean, uh, Moyes might be looking back at that, and like Jazz said, and fair enough if, if if that's the way you're looking at it, Moyes would have looked at their, you know, their stats leading up to it as well, and. As I say, he'll play a team capable, but I just believe that any team he does put forward, um, I think like the chat have been saying, you know, that we, we, yeah. we should be more than capable. So, yeah, 2-0. Yeah. I'm going for a 4-1. I reckon we're just going to... Uh, they've got to go for it at the end of the day. They need the points, yeah? So, I think they're going to go for it. And I think... I think that... I think... I've, I, 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 I'm saying it here now. I think Vlasic will score tomorrow. I think Vlasic Vlasic will score. Catch him on the counter. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do Flasic any time, and West Ham to win four one on my bet tomorrow. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm caught. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I just, I just got that funny feeling that we're just gonna turn them over. They've got to go for it at the end of the day. They need the points, and I think, I think our quality up front will will cause some damage. And they've got an ex year at their back, Vimmer, uh, he, he, Antonio, and everyone calls Havoc which, in the last game. So yeah, I think, I think we'll win comfortably. I suppose that's two, big, that's two, two big calls there from the from the two boys. It's two 
yeah. two contrast in shouts. I forgot yeah. there's no crowd there, though, so that's a benefit to us, isn't it? Yeah. Remember, no, we're, we're, not, we're not supposed to win games, are we? We only win when there's no yeah, crowd. Yeah, yeah. It would have been hostile, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder, 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 whether the, uh, wonder whether the moose will, will be there. Probably find out it's only... Uh, uh, re- re- ready, ready meals, or not not ready hot meals. So he's probably not going. He's probably got someone else to go. Yeah, he, he claims to be West Ham, doesn't he? Bless him. Yeah, can't stand. He's still not come out and said that he was wrong, though, has he? That's what was winding me up. I don't really see anything. I don't follow him. All I see is he him just he happy. He just says happy birthday to anyone, Chelsea players, Spurs, Arsenal. He follows anyone, mate. Right? You know? No, but he said, Jazz, that once the fans come back, we're going to crumble. Yeah, I saw him outside the day Pellegrini got sacked, and he, yeah, I'm not really keen on him. Yeah, yeah, neither am I. Neither am I. Here we go. Look, we get breaking news here. Look, Tom Clark's watching the warm up in Vienna. Apparently, Antonio's not there. Hey, yeah, I, I, I agree with that, though, boys. I don't yeah, think again, yeah, that, yeah, no. without disrespecting Vienna, it's um, if he's not needed, and, and again, you know, we're, we're all behind Moyes, and rightly so. And if he don't believe he's needed, which clearly he don't, and um. Phew. But like you you said, Miles, you know, yeah. I think expect to see Bowen now. You don't want to get him on another flight, but Marshy and Tony, look, I did look at the table, and there's no way Jamaica are going to qualify, and I think he's got to re-look at it. It's t- I, f- I think he might do now. Now, the fact that they can't qualify, I know he's played yeah. a few games, but what's the point? I think he might yeah. just say it. Well, they, they, they can't... David Sullivan, boys, must be gutted. That 150 grand or whatever it was, 100 grand of getting back from there to for the Wolves game. I'll tell you what I can see happening, Marshy. Hopefully, we're going to sign a really good striker, and then Antonio might think because at the moment there's no there's no challenge to him, so he can. I do agree with that. Wants. Yeah, totally. That's right, that's so exactly we, what we need. Yeah, you get someone in and he you be on the bench and he might start thinking. Yeah, he might not get back in. Someone right? to give him a run for his money. That's what they need. I think they've been linked with a few, haven't they? Belotti and a couple of others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I still think I don't think Liverpool will send him. But I still think Arig is the one. Rig is the one. I, I his contract's Jeff. ending, Miles, in the summer. Is it? Yeah, his, his I, I, I would say I would take him hundred percent goal scorer. And another one. Bring two of them in. And and um, Lingard, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, he's, he's, well, the yeah. fact that he got snubbed again yesterday, that means he's, he's uh, the, the Man United board have obviously told him not to play him or something like that as well. Because Carrick, well, you'd, Matt, think you'd want... Even, like, even Matt had got on before him, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I can't ask his curtains for Jesse, which I How think... How many is... discussions are you going to have, haven't you, Marsh? You had one before with David Moore. You had one last week. Well, are you going to sit down? I mean, come on. They're not going to play you, mate, long term. I think it's I think it's obvious now. I think the fact that... And I agree with the fact that I think he's come out, hasn't he, and said, you know, I think X widely reported it and said that, you know, Lingard is basically saying to come and get me, plea, isn't he, for want of a better word. £10 million. Just, you're going to get two, three years out of him. Even if you give him a two-year con, he's, what, 29 or whatever he is? You're still going to get, you know, early 30s, 28, 29, 30, 31, maybe two, three years out of him. Main thing is he's a, he's a nice fit for, for us, isn't he? Settled in brilliantly and hopefully... Yeah, he knows the way as well. Plus the fact of Ben Rama going to the African Cup. So, you know. Yeah, I think we would have had a different result at Wolves if he was there, I think. I do. I, we, we miss someone like him. That's what I said to the boys after. I think, obviously, uh, he fills in them gap truly well. Yeah, no, definitely. He can play in four positions. Sorry if I'm repeating this again, but uh, Steve's going for a 2-1 win to us. Glenn saying 3-1 West Ham. Not on the same Fab's having a super season so far. I'm sure Ariola will stay. Grant saying 1-1. One, one. Feel lots of swear about Wolves. A win for us. Arsenal for life. Come on, West Ham. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, that's about Antonio. Um... Uh, Give him the rest for Man City. Yeah, I think that's regards to Antonio. Uh, young Jake's in the building. Hope you're well, Jake. Uh, you done your homework, Jake. I hope so. <laughs> uh, Moby Dick, evening all. That's nice. I love that name. <laughs> it's a pub. It's a pub. There's a pub near me called Moby Dick. Oh, great. Chapel Dave in Chapel Dave. Uh, buzzing for tomorrow, lads. Apparently, yeah, in contention. Oh, either one of them, uh, Jay Woods, I'd be happy with. Oh, you've got to give youngsters a go. Oko Flex, maybe bring him on with 20 minutes to go. Do you know what I mean? These players are proving it. Dan Chester's. The one for me, though, it's mad to mad to think um, mm. that we've got right back to the club is Harrison Ashby. He is smashing it at the minute for the under-23s. And I think we could maybe see him converted as a winger, you know, Jazz. 
Um, he's good defensively. Yeah, hope so. Do you know what? Moyes seems to do this magic with with players. So yeah, hopefully that. Moby Dick saying uh, two 0 Look, we've got Mark. Mark was on that. Mark was on our show earlier. If you haven't watched it already, go back and watch his uh, uh, Ring United fives with his kits. Marshy will be on shortly as well. You should see his uh, bedroom, Marshy. If you haven't seen it already, full okay. up with West West Ham kits. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a shrine, yeah, to West Ham. One of the rooms. Yeah, loved yeah. it. Yeah, Jazz. Jazz. He's done his all. He's done his homework just for you. Boys <laughs> yeah. live press conference now. Antonio and Fabianski didn't travel with the squad. Well, that's that's two. That's two for the well. Fab we, Fab, we knew about, didn't we? Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, it would be very nice to see Vlasic and crowd uh, big games tomorrow. Yeah, I agree. And Mark was a great guest. Yes, he was. Uh, Marshy, like I said, we didn't want to keep. There's there's only so much we can talk about. Obviously, we win comfortably two 0 with the goals from. Uh, Declan Rice and Ben Rama. We've sort of done our predictions. Do you want to add anything else before we go, mate? No, I just hope, uh, you know, thanks for having me. I hope, like I say, well done on the on the 500 subscriptions. You know, that's going to rise as well, no doubt. You're doing good work. And hopefully we can... Uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow as well, although we're not uh, able to be there. Although, you know, nor is anyone, which I guess is uh, which is all right for the, the ones that were travelling away. Um, let's hope we can get a result. Keep doing the good work and... Um, yeah, we'll come together afterwards and obviously that will give us a, another debate, wouldn't it? Another discussion. Yeah, I mean, in the comments, everyone's saying how much they enjoyed Mark's show earlier on. We just want to tell everyone that Mark has officially become part of the West Ham Reunited family. So you will see him on up and coming shows as one of our pundits and analysts. So he's joining Marshy and everyone else and Don. Yeah. So you're yeah. always on the lookout for talent. And I'm really happy that we give the platform to especially people who have not been on before and they've got the knowledge and, and really, I really love listening to different people, really. So... Yeah, welcome, Mark. Well, like yeah. like you say as well, you're giving everyone a you know, and and you as you've both said before, watching your stuff back, you know, you you want to give different people the opportunity. You're looking for more females, you know, West Ham supporters as well, which is great. That should be, you know, as good as us lot, as good as maybe what you'd see is the norm, you know, that the. the the normal people that would come through for you. Yeah, we uh, gave Ak- Akabusi a chance, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You did, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I, let's talk about. Let's talk about that. I, I, Chuck was that when he remembered you as well, and you was messing yeah, my yeah, world top. I say, well, he mentioned the Huddersfield away. You know, when we walloped them four one, and it was yeah. uh, that's when I first see him. And like yeah. I said to you, you know, you got to get him on. From then on, he's good stuff. Here. You know, he's very. Um, you know, he's very passionate, he's very loud, he's very, you know, gets his points across. And uh, as I say, it was nice to hear some uh, some good stuff from uh, from him and, and everyone involved in that. So um, but that's what, like, that's credit to you boys and what you bring. Like you say, you want anyone and everyone and, you know, different people as well. So it's not so much samey, samey, you know, you get a variety of people, maybe not even West Ham orientated, if that's something else that your alleyways you're doing. And like I say, your, your subscriptions are, you know, your subscribers are, are showing well, so I mean that's only going to go one way. So you just need to uh, keep up your work. And uh, I think uh, and we, yeah. And we spoke to him off air, and we went, yeah, we're going to yeah. do an away day. And Chris, he went, yeah, I'm all over that. I was <laughs> like, can I do an away day with Chris? I could be, uh, a long trip, a long trip up north. Yeah, he, like a he, boat he, he would, I think he would have it as well. I think you, you know, should. Well, I, know with the, I know with the uh, the COVID stuff, he might sort of be a bit held back. But I mean, you know, once he. Once he sees that a lot of people are going and, you know, especially playing well at the moment, it'll give us a lot. It's more beneficial in that way. You know, watching West Ham anyway is a delight. And it's not, it's always been West Ham winning a bonus and everyone that makes it, you know, you guys and everyone else involved with the club and people you see on away days and even at home, it's picking up pace now. Um, you know, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. He was surprised yeah. to see you and Ryan in in that in the actual show in the comments. He was gobsmacked. I think he didn't realise. Yeah, yeah, he, <laughs> and yeah. No, in the comments, what he was saying though, he was like, "Oh, I'm glad like Ryan and all that people like that we're all stick together." And that's what it is, though, mate. Isn't it? It's like you, you you don't fall out with anyone. We're all doing it for what we, what we love, and it's just about I feel like, great like content. Said, though, it's the uh, it's the support coming through from. You know, there, there's no West Ham channels that are out on their own. Like, you know, everyone's willing to do a bit for each other. Everyone's willing to to come together. The family orientated feel and the warmth about it. And you know, everyone, you know, no one. There's no um, sort of negativity, if you like, and sort of negative vibes from it. It's all everyone just wanting to do a bit. And, and like you say, you you you, you boys raising the latest channel is um, 
can only be good for the. Hopefully, a lot of this gets back to the club in, in one way or another as well. You know that they see the the work that are now. You know how loved that they are, and you know a, a lot of a lot of our support. You know we have a. Uh, we all have our families and we all have our time for our work and our kids and all the rest of it. But, you know, West Ham are still a very large part of what we do and yeah, everyone's grown up with it, grown into it from their generations of, of family. So, um, yeah, no, keep up the good work. Guess, guess, guess who wanted to come on the channel? I was chatting to him on Twitter. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Dildo baby. Dildo oh, baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. Vlad. Oh, all right. I don't know what you're going to do, mate. Uh, have to, let me think about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't have a lot of knowledge of that. I can't, you know, I don't know who's behind all that. But uh, no, I know who he is. He, he messaged me again. He spoke to me again on thing. Hey, baby. Hey, <laughs> then he baby. gave it. Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, he like he cracks me yeah. up. And he, he, even that, you know, things like that are. A, it, it might not seem like a a good laugh, but you know, it, it, no, he, I all, love. It, I, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's all part of it. It's all a bit of. Uh, he lives near me, Marshy. So yeah, I'll connect on one of the games with him. I think as long as he doesn't yeah, bring, exactly. it, bring yeah, it with a, him. Yeah, he's a uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're good boys, obviously. Uh, that we travel with and stuff, you know, like it's all and, and and it's and it's all involved. You know, it's not just for the game. It's spending time with with yeah. people that are like minded, and you know, like you say, you have all these chats, you have all the debates, and then obviously you've got your. Channels like you guys, the West Ham TV boys. Listen, everyone that I've I've been asked to do a bit for, been very good and welcoming. And you know that, as 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 you boys said tonight, everyone's opinions are are there. No one's right, no one's wrong, and everyone's open to to what they want to say. So um, yeah, 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 no, definitely. Like I said, mate, it's all about giving a voice, and oh, uh, I've, I've, it's it's just not just that we're playing well. It as a feel good factor, and like you said, um, I've never seen it before, Marshy. But we spoke. Off air, the demand for tickets, like Arsenal went down to like twenty points or something, and then the tickets were gone. It's mad what 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 yeah. it's gone to. It's gone to now. Do you know what I, I think mean? now, like, like you say, I think because we're in a good we're in a good place at the minute, and obviously, you know, listen, we're West Ham. We are going to lose games, and mm. that's why we enjoy it while it's here. You know, like I say, we've lost we've only lost three games this season, Malsey. Do you know what I mean? People no, forget, no. That, you know, we're you know we don't have a god given right to win every game, and you're right. We, we, we'd have liked to get Sammy on Saturday at Wolves. Tough place to go. They're playing well. They're right behind us now, game-wise. They put a few good, you know, results, positive stuff together. And they're, they're a hard team to beat. And, they, you know, they've shown that. We could have played a bit better and we let them on. But there's going to be other games like that. Listen, we're going to lose other games. And, and now, like yeah, I said, what I'm, I'm going to find interesting is how we react. I know we've got yeah. Vienna tomorrow, but City might not be the ideal yeah. game to react. But but, but but it wouldn't surprise me if we fucking beat Liverpool and Man City and lose to Wolves. It's West Ham, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's, yeah. yeah we, 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 we turn it on against the better side. So, you know, Sunday, I'm not expecting to, to go there and to see the game and and not, you know, and, and be steamrolled. I ne I'll never get that fact anymore. I'll never get that feel that we're going to get slaughtered anymore. Because, you know, Moores has got that. He's got that um, positivity around the camp. He's got people working, and, and like he's like he said, you know, all right, winning is what he does. He largely he has done that this season so far, and he has beaten what's in front of him, which is all we can do. But then, you know, the reaction when we lose is is now to to be seen, and hopefully we can get a positive result. If we get a positive result tomorrow, then play all the kids in the Zagreb. I've, I've I've just heard. I don't know how true it is. Someone might be out, but apparently we're going straight to Manchester after the game. We're not even coming home. Which makes sense. They'll probably yeah, stay out there. They'll put cut, their... down, cut down the travel, yeah. Yeah, like you yeah, said, they might sense. they might they might even stay in Vienna tomorrow night and then just travel to Manchester on Friday. Yeah, I think to be fair, I think I it wouldn't surprise me if they got out of Vienna after the game and then obviously got maybe some sort of training base at, in Manchester somewhere. Yeah, um yeah. or close by, you know, they'll have a the hotel there, you know, they'll prepare in the and again, that's another Moist thing, you know, because like you say, but being, you know, realistically looking at it, you're not going to come back to Ethrow or Stansted or wherever they're coming from, pick the motors up and go home and come back, travel, you know, while they're all together. And while yeah. it's so close by, you know, it, it would sort of waste time coming back and then out again to Manchester. So, um, yeah, listen, we're, we're pulling in the right direction, sort of on and off the pitch. All the supporters are doing well and... And we can only do what we can do. It's a gutter that we can't be there tomorrow. Um, we just we need to sort the squad out, Marshy. No, we can't carry on like this. It's crazy, you know. We no, can't. we do need to. Yeah. I think they know yeah. they've got a. You know, they, they've got us. They've. You know, we've been saying it for however long, and I think we don't want to play it down just because we're playing well. But you know, like people have said, and 
pundits have said and reporters and commentators when we play and, you know, West Ham are, you know, one or two players away from, you know, sort of going down the barrel and, you know, them being missed a lot, the players that would get injured. And so, yeah, they do, listen, they do. We know yeah. it. But they, yeah. they know it. They probably just don't want to do it. And although they're never going to get in any good books, they, you know, there's a... And with this guy that's come in now, taking a, you know, um, a stakehold, you know, percentage of the club, um, you'd think that he's going to pump some money in. So it wouldn't be surprising to see someone come in you know, in January, even if we, even if we, like you said, Jazz, we, we sign someone, we sign a striker, say, and then we get someone in on loan. We need to, we need to make, we need to make, you know, this, this kind of thing we're going through, we need to make it count. You know, I know we're in Europa, it's brilliant, we made it count. I think top four is on, mate. You know, I want to be ahead of those Tottenham and Arsenal guys, and I think we can. United, yeah, I think yeah. we're five or six clear of them. If we'd beaten Wolves, Marshy, we would have had a, Nine points over some of them and six over. Well, I'm the not team. being funny, mate. You, yeah. you you look at it. If we if we scored a penalty in the Man United game, we get a point. All right, mm. Brentford, we switched off, um, mm. and we, and we get beat there. Um, and then obviously Wolves on Saturday that we just you know it's a a one in out a one in very minimal games that we that we didn't show for you know, and we have to get some work in and and learn that we do lose games as well. You know, like I say, we 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 don't. I would imagine that we'd want to go into every game winning and we don't want to lose. But if they mm. can if they can eliminate the amount of games that we're gonna lose, I mean like I say, we've only what how many Premier League games we had? We had eleven or twelve games, we've only lost three games. So Yeah, no, you know, definitely. it's the best start we're experiencing and, and Moyes is doing his job, his backroom staff I don't think get the credit they deserve. It'll just be okay. nice now to to eliminate the conversation of oh, you know, West Ham have got a paper thin squad and you know, hopefully we can get a few bodies in and, and this would be the time, you know, turn of the year now and especially in December when it's, I think there's like 10 or maybe more games, including the quarterfinal cup game, um, you know, so close yeah. to Christmas. So there's a lot to think about and uh, and Moyes will be thinking about that, you know, he'll, he'll be thinking ahead and knowing what we've got to do and, you know, he will have a, the way that he talks, I believe, is, is well enough to suggest that he has an expectancy level and he'll want to, as much as he respects teams, he'll still want to go out there and win games and he knows what it means to supporters. And and that's one thing that I noticed as well when we win. And even when we lost on Saturday, the boys were still over to us, clapping us, applauding us, Moyes as well. So, uh, you know, we win together, we lose together. And that's that's the mentality of a club that is, is going in the right direction, I think. Yeah, yeah. definitely, mate. Definitely. Right. So... We're done for the for the night, Jazz. Another another early night for us. But me and Jazz will be back from five o'clock tomorrow. Dead on five o'clock. Be giving you the match build up, and we're doing a watch along of the game tomorrow. So even if you even if you do, if you want to come on, drop us a DM. You can join join our uh, our analysis and pundits, so to speak. But even just get involved in the chat as you're watching the game, it will mean a lot. And like you said, Jazz has been Jazz is going for a two one loss, but me and Marcia are going for a win. Uh, I'm feeling confident and we'll, we'll be back tomorrow Marshy really appreciate your time mate it really does mean a lot no like I say you know well done on the subscribers keep going keep working and that's, yeah, uh, that's what's going to bring it to you boys and you'll get there so um, yeah pleasure yeah. to help you out and yeah I'll be watching on yeah no Great. definitely Thank you. definitely thanks to everyone in the chat as usual as I said um, we've done the uh, video with Mark at midday if you go and give that a watch while you're eating your dinner whatever very good show and you just just watched uh, uh, watching it just, just to see the collection of shirts he even said he's got a wardrobe full which are not on, up on the wall so <laughs> it, 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 yeah. that, that's, an, that's an amazing stuff but yeah like I said thanks everyone keep, keep liking and subscribing to us We've got good content. We've got a few good series coming up. Marsh will be back in the next week or so as well with his shirts. And that'll, that, that, that'll be a good one as well. So, like I said, thank, thanks to everyone. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See you later. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Take, take care. Bye.